right. Uh, Coach, I mean, you were ranking down everything. I mean, when, when you see, I mean, I know it wasn't field time, but when you see the, you guys, the, the lead gets cut to one, the crowd is on its feet. I mean, are you guys now getting, the, understand what it's like to kind of now be the hunter instead of the hunter? It seemed like they responded. Well, I don't. Address that? Or? Well, we talk about it. You know, I mean, when you play in a good conference, you're playing against a team that played in the Big East, the real Big East, and uh, they've had some great teams come in here. I'm sure they're not intimidated by anybody. We didn't handle our last experience in a game maybe we were supposed to win. I, I don't mean that disrespectfully to R Rutgers, but most people would think, you know, with their record and our record, we're supposed to win, but I never – take anybody lightly, but we we haven't been there before. We're not, you know, these are all learning experiences for us. Our young kids, they really, they don't think that way, but, you know, some of us that haven't had a lot of success, it's, it's a growing process, but I thought we responded great. You know, I love, you know, I watch Rutgers, they can, they're capable of beating anybody, you know, Judd, Getting in foul trouble, I thought was tough. And Marcus, I thought that hurt both teams. But proud of our guys. We got a win. You know, it wasn't an easy trip. You know, sitting in the hotel. And, um, but now we go to Philly and get to smell the gym tomorrow, and then play on Sunday. Larry Jim, I'm sorry, Jason. I was going to ask Larry Jim, did you ever coach in this building as a, as a professional coach? No, I, but um, when I got the uh, Nets job, uh, Kevin was finishing up. So I came to a few games toward the end. Uh, I, I actually coached the first pro game in Brandenburg. I, that was my first year with the Nets. So I remember how hard the floor was. And then, you know, walking in off the bus, wow. But then the new floor was great. I did give a clinic here, you know, um, which was a great experience for me a couple of years ago. Nick Moore, the, the big three-pointer, you think it's really set into Tampa. Can you talk a little bit about him? Yeah, first half, he had five assists and, you know, didn't shoot the ball. Second half, you know, he got a little more aggressive offensively. And I thought our guard play was great. And you have to play good because their guards are pretty darn good. Um, but he played great. Our bench helped us. You know, I I didn't play Ryan Manuel, who played like 40 minutes a game last year against Cincinnati. <clears throat> and our freshman Sterling, you know, was a little tentative tonight, so Ryan gave us a big lift. And then, you know, Marcus got in foul trouble. And aside from Cannon thinking that he was on the white team, he kept throwing the ball to the white team. I, Aside from that, he played great, um, and, and we needed our bench in a game like this. Coach, was it your intention to sort of force Rutgers to score in the paint, or was that just a product of how the trap worked? No, I, I think we're leading the country in um, not giving up baskets in the paint. Um, but they, you know, they spread you out and make you extend. And we didn't, we didn't do a good job of keeping them people in front of us. I think a lot of that, we got in foul trouble. You know, we were, we had early foul trouble the first half and then the second half, one possession, I think we had four fouls. So that, that kind of makes you a little tentative. But, but I think, you know, Eddie's, Eddie's a genius offensively, the way he spreads you out and, you know, moves people around. So if you're really not on your A game defensively, you'll, you'll get hurt, he'll find a way to hurt you. Larry, were you guys surprised by the, by the transformation that you guys have had you know, so quickly? No. No, I mean, I mean, last year we were in Conference USA, we only had five guys really, and we played zone and didn't have a bench. And maybe I didn't use the bench, maybe that's better, more accurate, but I knew we'd be better. You know, we had three really good fr transfers. We had a terrific recruiting year. But I didn't know if our record would reflect that because we're going in a whole different conference.
but you know, I didn't mean this in a disrespectful way, but um, Georgetown did it. Great school, great city, a lot of good players around um, in a great conference. I don't see why we can't do it. Um, we got, the, I think, the best player in the country coming next year. We got a lot of people back. Um, and we have a lot of nice things to offer kids. So I told them last year we're trying to win a national championship. I didn't know when, and I don't know when that'll happen, but you might as well set your sights up. But as a coach, hopefully we're realistic of where we are and go from there. Feels good to be back at the college game. I mean, I'm just happy I'm coaching. I mean, look at me, 73 years old, and I'm allowed to do something I love and be around kids and with great coaches sitting next to me. It, I wasn't, I didn't handle retirement. What is that, AARP or whatever that stuff is? I didn't handle that well. And I'm not ready to go to Florida. So, I mean, I'm, I'm loving what I'm doing. And my son's my roommate. Doesn't get much better than that. What, uh, just seeing Penny's team up close, I mean, you know, do you, you know, think he can uh, turn things around? Oh, my God, he can coach. He's a great guy. I told him I was looking when they were playing the national anthem and one of his kids is hugging him. I said, Dad, they'd hug me. But, <laughs> so, but I like I like their team. They, they're athletic, you know. Kadeem's going to be great. You know, I love him. I mean, they got good guards. This is a great place to go to school. I mean, I just can't. I can't get used to Nebraska Rutgers as a rivalry. You know. Nor can we. And I, I mean, Dave Gavitt, who, who I love, and I was his assistant coach in Haiti with D. Rowe, the Olympic team that didn't get to go. And I know what the Big East meant to him. And I know what it is for basketball. It's, it makes me sick that it's all football related. I mean, can you imagine if? Mark Turgeon is one of my guys at Maryland. His field hockey team has to go to Lincoln. Now, are they going to charter? Is it for the best interest of the student athlete? They don't play Virginia, North Carolina, Duke, NC State. They've been in that conference 55 years. I, can't, I don't get it. You say best interest of student athletes. I don't get this. Larry, you talk about every game being a learning experience. Did you conclude something tonight, winning as a ranked team for the first time? And, you know, yeah, I mean, every, you know, we beat Connecticut, Memphis, and Cincinnati in our building. You, you guys haven't been in that building. It's, the environment's phenomenal. Um, but the crowd had a lot to do with our success. It's a lot different going on the road. Um, yeah, I saw, you know, I saw them get blown out at Houston then come right back here and blow them out. So, you know, I think we showed a lot tonight. I'm, I'm proud of them, but, you know, we got another one Sunday. Okay. Happy Valentine's Day. Thanks, Coach. Good luck. Thank you. Thank you.